um, when they misbehave, basically, when they're delinquents and doing things, then now they're being targeted with this gang injunction. If the gang injunction is implemented, those on the list will be restricted from associating in certain areas or with each other. You might recall just recently this gang injunction issue was right before the Santa Barbara City Council for a public hearing to decide if they supported it going forward to Superior Court. And the council decided to keep it going and put it in front of the judge set for Monday morning in Santa Barbara Superior Court. In Santa Barbara, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. It was slightly cooler today, but countywide, we broke records still pretty warm. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Alan Rowe. So by tomorrow, a big difference? Yeah, Beth, and you know, today some areas did see that big difference. Santa Barbara down about five degrees or so, but Santa Maria, another day for the record books. That was the one record that we broke locally today. The previous record, 92 degrees, set back in 2004. Let's see what happened today, topping out at 98 degrees, another scorcher of a day out there across the Santa Maria Valley. Tonight, though, things are cooling down. In fact, much cooler than what we saw 24 hours ago. Lompoc in the 70s, Morro Bay in the 60s, Santa Maria 81, Goleta, Pleasant 78, Santa Barbara, though, still sitting at 93, and Ojai checking in at 92 degrees. Looking off to our north and west, here's an approaching area of low pressure, some clouds moving towards the Bay Area tonight. This is the weather system that's going to slide down the coast over the next 24 to 48 hours, and that's what's going to help to really cool temperatures down. Tomorrow, we knock off a good 5 to 15 degrees, and then some bigger changes in your forecast as we head towards Sunday and next week. We'll detail those changes and talk about a return of that old familiar foe, that May Gray. I shouldn't say a foe because right now it actually sounds... Pretty nice. We'll talk about all that coming up in a few for now. Back to you. Yeah, I think right now would be our best friend, right, Alan? Alan Hancock College in Santa Maria is getting ready for a physics frenzy right now. Hundreds of kids are expected to show up for Friday Science Night. News Channel 3's Ophelia Young is there right now. And Ophelia, it looks like they're almost ready for all the chaos to start. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to get crazy here real soon, and by crazy, I mean 1,500 kids and lots of weird experiments like this one. I spoke to some kids earlier, and they are so excited. I'm kind of expecting, like, teenagers that are experienced with science, and we probably ask them questions. They're a little older than teenagers. They're Allen Hancock College students who have built about 70 experiments and demonstrations for Friday Night Science. When I found out, I was like, today's a big day. My hands were sweating and my sister's like, Kitty, calm down, calm down. Big colored shadows playing with fire, magnets. This student built a light generator. It's his first year participating. And, you know, everybody just kept talking about how fun it was and how, how their projects were going and I just got kind of jealous so I just decided to give it a shot this semester and it ended up being really fulfilling. Really, it was a real good time. It's the hands-on stuff kids really like. I'm, I'm expecting like maybe they might have like gooey like experiments that those are like my favorite kind. Kids say they can't wait to be the inventors at events like Friday Night Science and their future. I want to make like new inventions like some that maybe kids our age would like like a robot that helps you with your homework. Well we don't know about all that Katie. Let's just stick to magnets and fire for now. I'm really excited. I can't wait to go there with my dad. So Ian and Katie are on their way right now, and you can be too. This event is free and open to the public, and it goes on until 8.30 tonight. Live at Allen Hancock College, Ophelia Young, News Channel 3. Very cool. Well, Carpinteria's Plaza Playhouse Theater is celebrating its 86th birthday tomorrow night with a movie classic and a party. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Casablanca will be shown at the Vintage Theater. It is said to be the oldest continuously operating theater between L.A. and San Francisco, and it opened back in 1928. The party is also a fundraiser to buy a larger screen that can accommodate all movie formats and more contemporary films. Our hope is to have a fully retractable 
wide screen that's about 20 feet across and 12 feet high. The screen that uh, you may see behind me is actually 12 by 12, right. which is fine if we're showing the great classics of the 30s and 40s and maybe the early 50s, because this is the format that they were originally seen in. Reception begins at 5.30. The movie curtain goes up at 7 for the 200-seat audience. That is fun. Now is your chance to get rid of all your old, unwanted electronics. An e-collection drive is being held at the Sears on Upper State Street in Santa Barbara. E-waste is anything that plugs in or runs on batteries. Residents can drop off TVs, computer monitors, cell phones, even VCRs. Drop off their e-waste, get it all done, take it out. We take it all out for you. Uh, and, and a lot of people store their e-waste and keep it around for a while. So we want to make sure it doesn't end up in the landfill since it is illegal to go to the trash. Now, the event just ended for today, but it'll be back up and running tomorrow from 8.30 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. How about three old irons? Those will work. And an old stove. They plug in. They, they